Someone there? Hey! Keep quiet. Nothing there now. What do you think? Huh? <laughs> Jumping in shadows. The jet will make you jittery. This is Sure. At least it sure as hell looks that way. Hmm. Who? Payback time! Been here before. I have been here before. That building. Turn that off.
down there. How many are we dealing with? Look alive. Don't mind the clutter. The is now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. He's just telling these commands. The gunners are chasing off the one, too. Sweet. Pacific? Pisses me off that you're not good with a sniper. I miss Boone. Is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Do people actively avoid you? Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't exactly start the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things, things changed. 
People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just, Blue, <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? All we've been through, I've already seen you at your worst. And you're still here, aren't you? <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on, let's not keep the world waiting. That. Check this first. Alive. Where to? Use your pistol. 